Hi, it's Miss Whittle here, and this is day four of Flipping the Library. In this lesson, we'll explore some of the other world book resources and look at how useful they can be to kids and adults. Okay, so one more time, we're going to go to the Tennessee Electronic Library by typing in T-N-T-E-L dot I-N-F-O. We'll again click on World Book Online. Use this resource. And we've already looked at early learning and kids. Um, very quickly, we'll look at student and advanced. These are two of the encyclopedias that uh, more advanced students can use. It's very straightforward. Uh, you'll notice that it's not as visual. There's going to be a lot more reading here. And again, just like with Google, you would type in uh, the term that you want. So we can read more about the American Civil War. And you'll see that the reading is far more extensive. And because it is such a large uh, subject, you can go through the different um, subsections by clicking over here in the left. It will read to you, and what's kind of neat is that you can change the voice. So if for some reason you feel like you want somebody from Britain to read to you, you can choose that. Okay, we'll head back. Advanced is uh, generally the same. It's just going to have a lot more reading involved. So these encyclopedias, as they advance, you're going to see that they move from being very visual to being very verbal. What I find interesting is that even in the advanced section, it will still read to you. Okay. And I will just let you play with those if uh, those are levels that would be interesting to you. The timeline section. Um, this just kind of gives you uh, a visual of history and um, the way things have been going. Um, but I, let's just stick with the Civil War. Okay, World makes these timelines. Um, if you log in, you can Add to the timelines or create your own and it will save it in your account. So you can start, let's say April 15th, or you can even go further back where it actually starts. I didn't get to see that. And It'll take you through basically the timeline of the Civil War. And you can do this for a, a multitude of different topics. This is just kind of visual, especially if you are um, trying to remember how timelines work. Okay. We're going to go back. The 
The next section is the World Book eBooks. I'm a real fan of these because it lets you um, read these interesting books. We had started to talk about these uh, books earlier. Um, just wanted to go in and look at some at it in more detail. Remember, for some reason, it started in the middle of the book, so we'll go back to the cover and move from there. We click the arrow to go to the next page. And if you are um, trying to search within a book or maybe making notes within the book, Let's say that you're trying to do some research. You can highlight some of these um, areas for you to be able to go back and remember where those are. Okay. If you need to zoom in because it's a little too small, you can. It'll bring up... Um, this bar for you to be able to um, see things. Okay. You can play around with how the page appears. I'm going to go back home. And particularly if you're doing research and you have several books that you're looking at to try to do the research, you can sign in and save these books. Let's kind of star them as favorites. Okay. Up here, it kind of gives you um, the categories of books that we have. One I would recommend is the early readers for um, the kindergarten, first, and second grade students. Just something um, that you can just pick up and read just because. Okay, I'm going to come out of the ebooks, back to our super home page, and I'm going to look at activity corner. I know that a lot of you are missing being able to do art projects. This is something that's going to let you do some art. You can select your age range. So let's say that you are um, in first grade. And let's say that you want to do some paper crafts. I've selected those and I'm going to click search. Okay, so this gives you a ton of um, art projects that you can go in to try to make. I'm going to click mosaics. It tells you what a mosaic is. It gives you the things that you're going to need. And then it gives you some directions on how to do that. If you want to, you can print it, you can save it to a Google Drive, or because you have signed in, you can save it um, as one of your own projects. Now you'll be able to um, search on your own age range or just search for something you want to do. I'm going to search origami. And it's going to tell me how to make a frog. So that would be something fun to try. Okay. 
Now, I have been hitting the back button a lot. Some of these pages will let you um, search between the products at the bottom of the page. So right now we're on Activity Corner. We've already looked at Advanced. Discover is sort of a middle school thing that I'll let you uh, look at on your own. The next one I want to look at is Dramatic Learning. I think this one is pretty cool because it's just a reader's theater. You can put on plays. Um, if you have siblings that are also reading, they can help you put on the plays. I'm going to just um, plays by grade level. I'm going to search that. And if you're in first through fourth grade, these plays would be great for you. It tells you how many characters there are. Fourth and fifth grade, you might want to try one of the four through eight. They have more parts, um, so that means you're probably just going to have to maybe play with the different voices that you decide to read with if you want to put on one of these plays. I think um, in some of these, it might be fun to make uh, little finger puppets and uh, put on puppet shows using these scripts. So I'm going to pick, uh, this is the first one, The City Mouse and the Country Mouse. And uh, this is where it comes in handy for parents. It has some lesson plans to go along with the play. And it also has um, some different resources that you can use. And you can make a whole unit out of this. I'm going to click on Play Script so that you can see what the script looks like as you're reading it. So right now, you would just be reading it on the screen, and it has the different parts, the country mouse and the city mouse. I think that might be a little difficult for you to do, so you can also print out this script and use it as you're putting on your play. Okay, I'm going to go to the bottom and see if we can get out of that. Yes, we can. Now, there are also um, different uh, encyclopedias for different languages. For example, this one looks like it might be in Spanish and French. Kids uh, eLearn looks like it's in Arabic when you go to that. So um, if those would be uh, something that you would need, I'm really glad that they have these encyclopedias in different languages. I'm going to click on Science Power now. And again, these are all things that you can find when you go to that super homepage for World Book. You don't necessarily have to get it from the bottom of each of these. Science Power um, is kind of like having your own science book on the computer. It is in here by the curriculum standards of uh, our state. So just because you're not at school doesn't mean that you can't keep learning about science. So we can select a grade. I'm going to go with fifth grade. And I'm going to click go. And it's going to work on the different standards that you would need to know in the fifth grade. So the first one that has materials uh, with the standard, I'm going to click on the link. And it looks like uh, this is about uh, physical science. Uh, we can start with changes in matter. And it has the whole lesson already there for you. You can download it as a podcast. Um, you can look in t different textbooks. We're going to go with, we're just going to start the lesson. It gives us some vocabulary. So we have our vocabulary here, and then we can click the next button. Here you can um, 
read it to yourself, or you can make sure this doesn't have an X and it'll read it to you. Okay, and then it'll keep going through each of these, uh, almost like a page in um, a textbook. And you can always check the main idea when you finish that page. You, know, you can um, true or false, answer it to yourself, and then click to see if you were correct. You go back to Science Power homepage. If you're just um, curious about things, you can just search by keyword, or you can search by these different topics. What's very cool um, for parents to know about is that there are assessments for each of these um, uh, lessons that they will have. So you can make sure that your kids are learning, not just playing around. Although, at this point, I don't think there's very much problem with just playing around. In addition to the science power, there's also a social studies power. It works very much the same way, except it's social studies lessons. So we have a Tennessee standard, and I'm going to go with grade four this time. Click on go. And it does give us all of the standards for social studies in Tennessee. I'm going to go a little bit further down and look at the Civil War. Okay. It's giving us a lot of lessons leading up to the Civil War and the war itself. So I'm going to go with Civil American Civil War. Again, it gives us the whole lesson. We can start it with the vocabulary or even look at the pre-assessment. And again, it will read to us if we allow it. Some of these um, graphics are going to be animation, so you can show the Union, states, and territories, and you can show the Confederacy. So that if you're trying to learn what state seceded, you would be able to visualize that. Again, you have the main idea check. And again, you can just look at the topics that are available or search by keyword. And there are assessments in this uh, resource. Okay, so I'm going to show you what these look like on the home page. Dramatic learning, uh, encyclopedias that are in different languages, science or and social studies power. I hope that these are great resources for you to use and play around with and investigate further as uh, you work at home to try to learn more things. I'll see you next time.